All right, so let's see if your math skills are strong enough to solve this simple math problem. So here is the question. One half of two thirds is the same as three fourths of what number? So we're looking for this number. Okay, so that is the problem, but uh, we do have a multiple choice question here. And let's take a look at our answers. So A is three, B is four ninths, C is 15, and D is 2 sevenths. Now feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. All right, so one more time. One half of two-thirds is the same as three-fourths of what number? We're all looking for this number. Okay, so the correct answer here is B, which, of course, is four-ninths. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and A plus. And if you're like uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this seemed pretty easy, but uh, I didn't get it right. How do you solve this problem? Well, there is different ways you can approach uh, the solution to this question, but uh, I'm actually going to be using some basic algebra. All right, nothing too complex. Matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and get into things right now. Okay, so one half of two thirds is the same as three fourths of what? If I said take one half of two thirds, we have to understand this basic mathematical language right here. So one half of two thirds, what does that mean? Well, you could see it means multiplication. One half of two thirds, if we want to find out what one half of two thirds is, what we have to do is take one half and multiply it by two thirds, right? So hopefully you, you uh, understood that. And if you didn't, no big deal, now you do. So one half of two thirds, now in mathematics, when you see uh, the word is, that's always the equal sign, okay? So we'll kind of build a nice little equation here. So one half of two thirds, that's this right here, is the same as what? Well, it's the same as three fourths of some number, right? So that would be three fourths of, again, we're gonna be multiplying by some number, we don't know what this number is. So how can we figure this number out? Well, I'm gonna show you how we can not figure this out, but this is kind of the, the situation, right? So if you don't understand the problem, you're not gonna be able to figure it out. So again, it's okay to be confused when you uh, read a math problem. That's is very you know, common. So always take time to kind of slow your brain down and kind of think about it and model it out the best you can. Never start a math problem unless you really kind of understand the problem itself. All right, so now let's go ahead and get going here. Uh, one half times two thirds. So one half of two thirds is this, but one half times two thirds is uh, one half times two thirds. We could write these fractions this way. We could cross cancel these twos is the same as three fourths times some number. We don't know this, but what we're going to do is clean this problem up. So one half times two thirds is one third. So one third is equal to four thirds times some number. Now at this point, you might be saying to yourself, well, can I you know, figure out this fraction right here? What fraction or what number uh, times three fourths will give me one third? That's what I have to figure out, right? That's what we call the solution. So a lot of you might be like, hmm, I don't really know how to do this. We're looking for our number. We don't know what this number is. You're like, well, I don't know what this number is. Well, in algebra, you can always use a variable like x to represent this number. And that's the whole point or one of the main reasons we use algebra to solve problems uh, when there is an unknown value. Like right here, we don't know the value of three-fourths times some mystery number is some number x, if you will. So what we can do is construct a nice basic equation here. And hopefully you picked up on that. But if you didn't, now you know. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to build an equation and solve it. But uh, before we do that, I would like you to solve a problem for me. And that is I'd like to increase uh, my subscribers. So if you can help me, you know, increase <laughs> my subscriber count by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell, that would be so awesome. Matter of fact, I would kind of look like this when you do that. Uh, it goes a long way for me, okay? I love teaching uh, math. I have a couple thousand uh, videos on my channel uh, from basic math to advanced math. So if you're new to my uh, channel, thank you so much for uh, watching my content. And if you wanna learn 
algebra, geometry, uh, more advanced math, just scour through my channel or check out my courses. You can find a link to those in the description below, but let's get back to the problem. All right, so at this stage, right, we know we have uh, one third is equal to three fourths times some mystery number. This is kind of where we distilled the problem down. So this mystery number, we're going to go ahead and uh, have a variable like x. We could be, it could be x, could be y, but I'll use x to represent this number. So three fourths of x, or three fourths times this fraction or number x is going to be equal to one third. So the objective here now is to solve this equation. All right, let's go ahead and do that right now. Now, typically in algebra, we'd like to have our variables to the left. So in other words, if I write an equation like 2x is equal to 10, it's not really, a, uh, I want to say, it's not wrong to write the equation like 10 is equal to 2x, but typically we like the variable to the left. So just understand that uh, 2x is equal to 10 is equivalent to 10 is equal to 2x. So in this case, if I have my variable on the right-hand side, I can just take my variable term and put it on the left and put my number on the right. So that's what I'm going to do. I have 3 fourths times x, or 3 fourths x is equal to 1 third. So now I'm going to go ahead and concentrate on solving this basic equation. 3 fourths x is equal to 1 third. All right, let's go ahead and do that right now. The easiest way to solve this equation is to flip this fraction right here, this what we call a coefficient. This is 3 fourths. Let's just flip it upside down. That's 4 thirds, and we'll multiply both sides of the equation by 4 thirds. Now, why did I flip this upside down? Well, because when I multiply 4 thirds times 3 fourths, I'm going to get 1, okay? So or that would be 12 over 12, which is 1, or 1x, one or x. That's what I'm looking to do, right? I'm looking to... Uh, do something to this 3 fourths x to get x, or 1x, because that is the solution. But uh, remember, in algebra, whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do the exact same thing to the other side. So we'll multiply both sides of the equation by 4 thirds. And when I multiply 1 third by 4 thirds, I'm going to get 4 over 9. So x is equal to 4 over 9. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math algebra and geometry in this course i'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video all right so with all that being said i definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures thank you for your time and have a great day